damn the quality yeah in comparison to my old <laughs> my old camera it's a little uh, a little interesting huh i don't know how to feel about it i feel self-conscious this one is called this fish will give you nightmares <laughs> and the starting image is a remora a very peaceful fish that just like sucks on to sharks and stuff to have a symbiotic relationship but hey you know maybe it's uh, maybe there's something we don't know about them that's terrifying as if you didn't already have enough things to worry about, we here at the Fancy Banana- I'll also say hi to YouTube, and YouTube say hi back. We're starting that now, from now on. Whenever we start a video, you guys have to say hi to YouTube, and YouTube's gonna say hi Twitch in the chat. This is a tradition from now on, you guys need to be more kind to each other. To help give your nightmares a vividly terrifying underwater restyle, <laughs> and an addition- Okay, can I just talk about how out of place the background music is? Why has it got like like the happy like five minute crafts tutorials background music? But he's talking about the fucking nightmares in the deep. No fishy fragrance. Sorry about that. Just brace yourself. No Here way. are twenty terrifying sea creatures that actually exist. <laughs> Why do they all have the exact same intro? All of these shitty list channels have just like some random inanimate object that they've made into a person and then they do some weird action and it's the same thing and it's always like the fancy banana the something alien the whatever whatever remora fish this sea creature sucks well in some ways anyways <laughs> although whether it's super scary i'll leave that up for you to decide i don't see what could possibly be scary about like a flat ish fish that sucks onto sharks i just i i, I don't they're also colloquially known as shark suckers, sucker fish, and disc fish. Look at These that, they're best friends. That was adorable. First of all, that shark is adorable. And sub that shark is adorable, and the remora is adorable. He doubles as little hats and handbags. Oh my god, you're right. It's just like a little fashion. It looks like an eyebrow! Oh my god, it looks like a crazy eyebrow, look. It's like the, the shark has the expression of like the eyebrow going like this. They look like autosynclus. Yeah, that's a really cool example of convergent evolution. I guess it's not the exact same thing because autos don't like uh, suck onto other fish, but like autos and remoras have like very similar. I guess maybe lump suckers are a better example than remora or than autos, but still cool convergent evolution. Fish remora have a flat sucking disc on the okay. top. Okay, of they're not that cute, but they do look dumb as hell. And I think anything that looks dumb is cute. I have a weird thing where if something looks really dumb, I think it's funny and it's cute. Their heads. Look they at them. use this to attach themselves to all kinds of animals. When they're sucked onto something, they're adorable. But when they're swimming in the open water, they just look stupid. <laughs> they may receive inadvertent protection from predators, and they can gain a wider selection of chance. I love how if you, like, unflatten the top, they kind of, like, look like a normal, like, sturgeon or something like that. But then they just look so derpy, and they have that lip that just goes out so far. Anyways, I don't know how you could finally possibly find this terrifying dragonfish okay although the dragonfish is only about six inches long it still cuts a fearsome figure in the deep dark ocean They're especially so if you're a teeny weeny creature that the dragonfish likes to call lunch these eel shaped predators okay, there's no universe where that was a dragonfish right teeny weeny creature that the dragonfish likes to call lunch these eel yeah there's just no universe those are the same thing okay cool stock footage just completely wrong shaped predator yeah it looked like a little wolf eel there's of extremely gruesome grins so cool fang line jaws are one of the things that make the dragonfish formidable these are like one of the closest things we have to real life pokemon like look at this thing it's so sick look at that okay that's just the image from before and he flipped it around it looks so cool. Like, why does it need this orange bioluminescence under its eye? I don't know, but it looks super cool. These things here, it's a literal Pokemon. It is a literal Pokemon. These creatures have fangs that are almost totally transparent, which means that they blend That's into just their not, surroundings. It's not a dragon potential fish. Prey can hardly How see can them. you not see that they're a different color, they're a different shape, the heads are a different shape, the mouths are a different shape? Come on, he has like two stock footages. He's just reversing this image back and forth and then showing the wolf eel. It also emits an eerie bioluminescent glow. Ah, it is a proper Stop creature. showing the same footage. Okay. This fish will give you nightmares and number three is the giant isopod. Interesting. Giant isopod. 
If you're unnerved by creepy crawlies, then a massive oversized so bug cute. that hangs out at the bottom of the ocean might just be enough to give you nightmares. Aw, look at them. But the giant isopod, for all of its creepster vibes, isn't really up to any nefarious ill doings. In fact, this weird- None of the fish are up to any nefarious ill doings. Why is this one special? This isn't even a fish. It's a fucking overgrown isopod. Sea creatures kind of helpful. Giant isopods are bottom feeders with a penchant for the grossest sunken sea things. Is he scrubbing its back? Are you telling me there is someone at an aquarium in the world whose job it is to professionally give them a sponge swipe on their back? Because that's fucking adorable. Number 17. Coffin fish. Oh, oh what the, come on. Look at him. Look at this. Come on. You can't. You just, you can't. You can't just say that this is... Come on. Look at his frowny face and his big black eye. This is literally like the definition of what humans are supposed to find cute. This resembles a human baby. <laughs> when I see a newborn at the hospital, this is cuter, actually. This is cuter than most newborns that I've seen. <laughs> I don't know how you could possibly dislike this fish come across in the Adams Family Aquarium, it's not entirely as spooky <laughs> as it sounds. I love their arms. Also, why is he telling you every single one of these fish will give you nightmares, and then every fish, he's like, well, it's not actually as spooky as it sounds. Big talk, and then he just talks himself down. That's one of my least favorite things about this React channels. It's just like big talk, like huge clickbaity thing, and like all of these, you know, this list, and it's going to be terrifying, and all this stuff's going to happen, and then like the moment that they actually start talking about the things, they're like, yeah, actually, it's not that thing. It's actually not Towns. that big of a deal. Basically, all the animals that live in the deeper parts of the ocean are subject to all of our more irrational fears and anxieties Look at him. about the unknown. He has legs. Get back here. Fears and anxiety. Look at it. it looks like fucking Pac-Man. It looks like Pac-Man. Look at him. Or Kirby. This is real life Kirby. <laughs> Coffin fish have developed special <laughs> fins which they use for walking on the seafloor. He looks like he'd be a good friend. Am I personifying an animal? Maybe, but he just looks like he'd be a good friend. There's too much in this video. Frilled shark, vampire squid, blob fish. Oh, come on, man. Fish. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a bad, that's a bad picture. Guys, I swear, it's just a bad angle. They're not actually ugly. Guys, no, you don't understand. It's like when they're in the deep, they're pretty. It's like, no, 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 this is a bad, no, this is like, it's not my good side. Like, they got my bad side, you know? Oh, look at these guys with a face like Mr. Hey, Magoo. That, why does it have a fake eye that's blinking? Is this edited in Ooh, post? Maybe a piece of rude graffiti. The what the world is that? Fish gets a these are fake. This is fake. What is going on? Bunch of abuse. Declared by some to be oh. the ugliest animal in the world, the no. blobfish is kind him. of fascinating. Their features can be Stop. eerily- What are these fake videos of these fucking fake blobfish on dinner plates with weird eyes? I don't like it. Amphipode? There's some new depth of flavor. While investigating a deep sea trench, some marine scientists got their own bad dreams enhanced when they sent traps to the deepest depths in order to sample what was going oh, on down there. it's a big amphipod. They previously only seen this sort of feeble relate. I didn't know that was a thing. I knew there were giant isopods. I didn't know that there were giant amphipods. That's sick. I didn't even know those. I actually learned something from this video. Rare moment, I learned something from this video. There are giant amphipods. Stargazer, Chimera, Goblin Shark, Fangtooth, Hatchetfish, Barrel Eye, Megamouth. Oh no, not the Black Swallower. If this guy shows the fucking catfish in that one aquarium. Remember that old video we watched where they talked about the Black Swallower and then showed a bunch of catfish? Swallower. And would you just look at the fish? It has rows nope, of jagged... there it is. Haha, <laughs> and it's a, it's a fucking catfish. How do you not realize that some of your footage is from the deep sea? Deep sea! And then you have a fucking, just a normal black catfish next to a goldfish. Nasty looking teeth. Where do you find your stock? Those are clearly not the same fish at all. Ugh. They're clearly not even remotely similar at all. Guys, and the appearance of something you might well conjure up in the throes of a horrible nightmare. Twinkle? Oh, calm down, Twinkle. It's all gonna be okay, my little baby. What the fuck is going on in this video? I, I, I That made me more uncomfortable than almost anything I've ever watched. Why did he just... 
Okay. Whatever. <laughs> that was weird. I don't want to talk about that. Gulpert Reel, Dumbo Octopus. Dumbo Octopus? Really? This harmless little fucking plastic bag of a creature? Big red jellyfish. Okay, this is kind of sick. Red jellyfish. Perhaps after all the naming mishaps that the fish of our oceans have encountered, it makes sense to Where did I see one of these? Oh, Wakanda Forever. The new Black Panther movie has one of these in it. And it's pretty sick. And spooky. I saw one of these and I was like, oh, I do remember what that is. But I haven't ever really like looked at it much or talked about it much. Alright, I'm done with this. This video was... Uh, oh my god, it has 26,000 views. It's so bad. I like looking at the comments. Just discovered your channel. Seems like YouTube finally recommended me so etching interesting. Finally... Oh, something interesting. Okay, yeah, got it. Cool. Why does the guy have 2.2 2 million subs, but then it has 27,000 views? That's a great question. You're asking good questions. You should continue asking questions like that because that will lead to answers. Whoa.